if the question is what are the limitations of Rutherford model then we need to state these five main concepts as because you know already what are the Rutherford models and it was compared with the solar model because uh, according to the Rutherford's model the atoms and the solar systems was similar because the planet were revolving around the sun as like as electrons are revolving around the nucleus but there are some limitations the first limitations of Rutherford's is number one I, I just wrote a very key points but the thing is uh, the concept is as Rutherford said it was looks like a solar model but looks like a solar system whereas the planets the planets of the solar system are neutral that is the main part that neutral but the electrons of an atom they are not neutral they are actually negatively charged so as we know that as we know that the negatively charged is 1.6 times 10 over minus 19 coulomb so th there is a limitations according to the statement so as Rutherford compare the atom model with the solar model the first limitation is the charge so the planets are neutral but the electrons are negatively charged so the number two is the Maxwell's electromagnetic theory of atom so what are the special things this that the electromagnetic theory of radiation means when when a negatively charged or any charged particle any charged particle is moving then it always emits energy it always emits energy so according to the according to the according to the Maxwell's electromagnetic radiation theory it means that when a charged particle is revolving then every moment it will emit energy and then the, the radiations when it radiates the energy then the radius of the circular pathway will gradually decrease that means then it will be it will be like that so when it's like that then it will be like this and then what will going on it will come closer to the nucleus and then finally there is no existence of the electrons into the outer surface of atoms so it will be it will be merged into the nucleus but according to the Rutherford's law electron does not emit energy and that is why there is a contradiction that according to the Maxwell's electromagnetic theory of radiation when a charged particle will revolve it will emit energy and then the radius of the pathway of the circular pathway will gradually decrease and then after all it will become it will be in the nucleus so there is no existence of electrons outside of the nucleus so that is why according to the Maxwell law Rutherford's model are not correct number three the formation of spectrum of atom the spectrum of atom I mean according to Rutherford's solar model there was no correct idea of the formation of the spectrum of atom as because we got this spectrum word from the Niels Bohr atom model and we'll have uh, the next video will be on the Niels Bohr atomic model so the third limitations of Rutherford is that Rutherford atomic model did not state or didn't give any idea about the formations of spectrum of atom so there is a third limitation the fourth limitation is Rutherford didn't state it and didn't give the idea of what actually the size and shape of the orbit as we know that the word orbit also comes from the Niels Bohr model so the circular pathway that right now I say the circular this circular pathway comes from the Niels Bohr model but when Rutherford explained or stated that is no clear idea how the orbit will looks like is it circular or is it like 
like triangular or even whatever. The size and the shape was not clarified from the Rutherford's atom model. And the fifth limitation is that, that Rutherford did not state that how will be how will be the electron movements if there is more than one electron so how it will be organized and how it will be configured so the rather first limitations are these so firstly i just say that these five key points so that you can understand and you can remind in case of answering questions in your exam hall the a if the question is what are the limitations of Rutherford's atom model or solar model or even the question can be like why the Niels Bohr atomic model is more acceptable than Rutherford's atom model then we need to state these limitations and also the point of acceptance regarding the Bohr's atom model so firstly I just say that these are the key points and you can remind that first limitations are the planets as Rutherford compared the planets with the electrons planets are neutral but the electrons are negatively charged number two is the Maxwell's electromagnetic theory of radiations number three is what are the formation of spectrum the spectrum it didn't give any idea regarding the spectrum of an atom and then number four is Rutherford didn't give any idea regarding the size and shape of the orbital and fifth limitations are that uh, there is no clarifications of uh, uh, conceptions of that if there is more than one electrons then how it will be moving around the nucleus so these are the limitations of Rutherford so I hope that you understand and you can keep in mind that the five points and then in case of elaborating things in your paper then you just implement your thoughts into the exam paper so see you on the next class i shall be explaining the Niels Bohr atomic model take care